Hello again everyone, Kony is here. Today I'm flying from Cheyenne, Wyoming to Douglas, Wyoming. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I'll fly at around 8,000 feet, I believe. Let's go ahead and get inside and get started. Take off the parking brake and give it some throttle. Alright, lift off. I guess I pulled up a little bit too hard. Gear up and flaps up. So I'm having some minor problems with the game since the most recent update, the 1.18.4 I think it is. The main problem is I can't set my call sign and tail number and flight number and all that stuff. Um, it, it randomly disappears while you're entering it, which is weird. It'll randomly change it to something else. I wasn't able to actually get it to set a flight number, so it's not saying one in the ATC communications, which is a little strange. Okay, let's go ahead and turn in the direction of the heading. And then, also they've changed the way things work, so I'm used to the... Leaving my airspace frequency change approved. I'm used to the co-pilot contacting Cheyenne Tower KA frequency the arrival tower around Denver 10 KA is nautical Beach miles away, Air 5 miles northwest of Cheyenne, and it's feet. closer to 3 Request nautical miles, the pattern's a lot smaller, I'm trying to adjust to it, I think the issue is that um, I'm going over my... No, actually it's fine, okay, yeah, I want to be at 8,000. So, uh, Roger they've got this new time approach and time vert and time climb and all this stuff, which I need to get used to. I think it's probably a smarter way to fly, I'm just not quite used to it yet. But it's not telling me the distance to the airport anymore now, it's telling me the distance to the point where I need to approach the airport. So, at that point I'll want to be going slow enough that I can land if I'm, you know, only a few nautical miles away. So I'll have to just get used to that, I think. Let's go ahead and go outside. Beautiful day here in Cheyenne. I'm going to go ahead and set the autopilot, so I'm already higher in altitude than I wanted to be. So I'm going to set this at 8,000. Alright, and engage that. Autopilot will correct the course and get us back down to 8,000. I'm going to pull the throttle back to halfway. We don't need to be doing any more climbing. Check the barometer. 
Oh, that was quite a ways off. Okay. Let's go ahead and go outside. There's other issues like the orientation on the Xbox controller has changed. Um, so it used to be I would hit right on the right joystick and swing around the right side of the plane. And now I have to go left to do that. So it's like I'm moving the world rather than moving the view camera. I haven't figured out a way to reverse the axes on those back to the way it was. So I'm just going to see if I can get used to it. So to go left, I would normally hit left on the joystick, but I've actually got to go to the right. It's going to just take some getting used to it. Used to doing these kind of cinematic shots. Let's go back inside. Not much to really see in here. But it's kinda like to go to this position and pull back. Look around a little bit. Now I think the orientation on the joystick is the same once you're inside the cabin. Yep. So now I'm actually moving the camera, not moving the world. I can look around. I can't complain about the performance improvements. Not only am I getting a decent enough frame rate there in the lower right, but I'm not noticing stutters, and I have a lot of things now set to ultra instead of high on my RTX 2080 Ti. So the performance improvements are amazing. Just some of these little UI bugs would be nice to have fixed. back outside again. Switch to the drone. It 
doesn't seem to move as fast as it did before, but it's still usable. Let me reset the drone. Alright. It could be that the speed setting is ineffective. I think that might be what's going on, because normally that gets reset when you reset the view. Alright, and I think the orientation of the joystick is the same. Yeah, so I'm moving the view again, not, not the world. That's good. Alright, well, we'll drop down, see what we see down here. I'm not going any faster than the plane, so it should still be basically directly above us at this point. And I'm dropping down slowly. Plane's dragging us forward. Let me just spin around a little bit, take a look. See some satellite image lines there in the world. Game revealing its secrets. Let's check on the plane quickly. Airspeed's a little bit low, but I've got the throttle at 50%. Let me bring that up more. We'll be going a lot faster. At least for now. Leave it there and check on that. Altitude looks okay. Heading's fine. Back to the drone. Looks like uh, snow rings on these mountains or something. Okay, now I'm going to try to go a little faster than the plane. Doesn't seem visually much faster, but I think it's a little faster. Alright, I'm going to go back and check out the plane again. We could be going even faster. Let's throttle up some more. need to make sure that I don't cause a problem with these dials.
as I throttle up some more. Okay, I think that may be okay. We'll see. pretty out here, but flat and not a lot of really super interesting things to see. Okay, I'm going to try something with the autopilot. I'm going to set my vertical speed to minus... Well, let's see, can I do that? Okay, well, what I want to do is I want to set my target altitude to 5900, which is the time approach point. And then set a vertical speed of, let's say, minus 400, and go back and turn on altitude, and I think if I let off the throttle, it might try to drop us down there. So it's holding my vertical descent rate, approximately. I think that's enough time. So, you know, I think that's a, a rate that will get us down there in time, but I'm not sure. I just did some quick math in my head, but I could have gotten it wrong. We actually want to be going a lot slower when we get there. that end I'm going to pull back a bit more on the throttle. see anyone else out here flying, but this is kind of in the middle of nowhere, I guess. I'm going to keep pulling back on the throttle, 
just try to get the speed gradually down. I'm happy where we are at with speed. We'll see if I'm approaching this correctly. I am kind of low to the ground. if I can figure out my height above the ground. Yeah, it's only like 500 feet off the ground. Okay, I think I'm going to disengage autopilot and take over. We're just a bit low. So let's climb a bit. i help get that speed down. Okay, so we're over a thousand feet above the ground. That's better. Yeah, this will take some getting used to. I was kind of in a particular pattern with my other flights, and so that's pattern's been interrupted, it's probably a good thing overall, but it definitely takes some getting used to. Flaps down. Push hard on the stick to not let the nose rise up too much. I think we're high enough off the ground to not have to worry about climbing anymore. throttle some more to try to get the speed down.
flight director is encouraging us to turn a little bit. Okay, I'm at approximately my... I think the game just stuttered there for a second, but I'm at my altitude. I feel like it would be a good idea to put the flaps down all the way, but I'll start by putting the gear down. down all the way. Pushing on the stick. Bring it back up to the halfway throttle so we don't lose too much speed. The mountains look very snowy outside. to get a little bit more squared up with the uh, heading. Okay, we're dropping speed a bit much. I'm going to go up to, say, 70% throttle. If I need to do something with the tower, not sure. But it doesn't seem like we have landing clearance, and I don't really see the airport anymore. dropping like a rock. Just 
focus on the runway and try to flare up a little bit. Okay, brakes. Front wheels down. Okay, that was basically okay. Just the figuring out where to go to land has been my difficulty so far. Flaps up. Looks like we can pull over over here. There's the road, okay. Okay, so it felt a little messy, but I don't think it was that bad of a landing. Kilo Delta Golf Whiskey Traffic KA is clear of the runway. Okay, I guess we just go park wherever we want over here. off. Go take a look outside a little bit while those are cooling down. The Xbox controller shut off. Let's see if I turn it on. Can I just use it or is it going to give me a... Okay. I think I can just use it. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Go back inside. Shut off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.